guys. Uh, welcome to Kumaran Sunday. So now here, I've received one uh, message from one of my students, and uh, that is related to. Simple here. Now this is screenshot I have taken, uh, but I think uh, it's not possible to see. You look at here. Yes, if you look at the bottom, generally he is trying to post, uh, you know, like a payment for a vendor, right? So he was saying like difference is too large, right? So now difference is too too large. When in when which case such kind of things are uh, such kind of things are going to appear, guys. So here, I think uh, it is not visible because the screenshot is not clear. But I can understand here. So look at here, two fields are there: amount entered and amount assigned. It means SAP is saying that a particular amount, like you're you're supposed to pay a particular amount, and whatever amount he is going to enter is smaller amount compared to compared to. I'll just do one thing. Compared to whatever, like. Uh, uh, let's suppose it, SAP is saying that 1000 payments are supposed to be done and he is going to enter 600. So of course there will be a difference of 200, right? So there will be a different different of 400. So SAP will not allow, right? So if only 600 you have to pay, in that case you can post this payment in the form of partial payment or receivable, right? Item or else if a complete payment you are making, you are trying to make, in that case whatever the Eligible amounts are there. You have to enter, right? This is what the message, which is going to be shown. So it's pretty simple, guys. What to do here? F dash fifty three is the transaction code. Give it date, and this is the company code. Currency is everything I have given here. A real account, and let's suppose now there is a particular vendor. This is the vendor. I think this is the vendor code. Yes. So this is a particular vendor. Let's suppose you don't know, you don't know like against this vendor how much payment supposed to be made, right? How much payment supposed to be made? So how you will come to know? First of all, you can check FBL1 and report from there. You can come to know, but there also there will be a problem. FBL1 and if you check here, so what is the vendor number here? <laughs> Against this vendor, we have to check. So these are the two invoices, and that too it is not due. So six ninety and six five zero. So one six four zero, right? This much payment we are supposed to make. But guys, there might be chances that when you are going to make the payment, if if this invoice is eligible for discount. So you're trying to make payment of 1640 rupees. Whereas if you uh, go inside system, we'll say that nah, this line item is eligible for certain discount also, right? So in that case, pretty simple ways. You give amount one, okay? And then you press enter. So look at here. This is the line item. This is one invoice. This is another invoice. And here we are eligible for certain cash discount as per this one five percent discount is there, right? So now what is happening, guys? So this amount minus this amount, and this amount minus this amount. So what is the overall payable amount, guys? What is the overall payable? So look at here. System has already assigned here that five. Look at here one five five eight is the overall payable amount, right? One five five eight is the overall payable amount. Out of which, how much payment we are going to make? One rupees only. So in that case, one rupees, ten rupees, hundred, five hundred, one thousand, even like fifteen hundred. Also, if you are going to make payment, and if you save it here, then system will say the difference is too large for clearing. So simply, what you have to do, you need to click here, document overview. This one we have given. You just double click here, and that amount I have copied, fifteen fifty eight, and then you just click here. So you just specify 1558. Now it's fine. 
items okay and then here to the open item items, right no process open item sorry process open item so once again we came back here now look at here amount system is saying that we have to make payment of 1558 and we have also entered the same amount so what is happening not assigned in the sense difference is no difference zero difference right in that case you can simulate okay so this is the amount for the vendor this is the vendor and this is your like uh, which one back of okay whatever the bank is there and then discount also is coming in the picture now if there is a question what if i have to pay only 1000 so simple you can post in, in the form of partial payment because that is not the nor normal payment guys that is partial payment in the sense partial amounts are going to be paid isn't it partial or residual item can be posted so right now what is happening in this way the transactions are supposed to be posted and you save it now it got posted right so if you check here that whatever open open items are there that is i think it's clear yes it's clear it's gone okay so this is how the transactions supposed to be posted 